just to barra la'na upon X, la'na upon Y. Doesn't change anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking for the tabarra in your action to be that by virtue of X, Y, and Z being the way in which they are, I would never have those qualities in myself. Now here, I'm going to touch on something sensitive. And it's important that we all know clearly the challenges that we have in our communities. Half the cases that we have to deal with is marital issues. And half of those are domestic violence. In which the majority of the cases, the vast majority of cases, is what? Where it is the husband or the male partner that is physically abusing, violently abusing his spouse. Yes, it happens on both cases, on both sides. But the majority of it is from the male to the female, from the husband to the wife. In fact, it's now reached such a case in our communities where father-in-laws are beating up on their daughter-in-laws. Seriously. Now, Imam Sajjad stated that the person... That the person who truly hates Yazid because of the way in which he abused Imam al Hussein alayhi salam with his alcohol, that would be sufficient for you to change your behavior. So I say to you openly here that, that we will know that there are people here in our communities, in our family members that are abusive in this way, physically emotionally abusive to each other. It should be sufficient for you and I that if we have hatred, and I say this because we believe in it, if we have hatred towards Umar ibn al-Khattab because he slapped Lady Fatima alayhi salam, it should be sufficient for you as a man. It should be sufficient for you as a man that you will never dare slap your wife or your daughter-in-law. And if you truly have hatred of Khuli and Shimr, who slapped Lady Sakina alayhi salam, it would be sufficient for you to use that as a lesson that you will not also do that same abusive behavior to others. It should be sufficient. But this is the meaning of tabarra in action. That actually, when we see the actions of those whom we hate, we would want nothing to do with those actions ourselves. Otherwise, otherwise, I ask a simple question. Why are you crying in the first place? Whom are you crying over? You're crying and then you go and do the same action? So I say this to you with no equivocation and no fear. That I want you to realize that when you do tabarra, the tabarra isn't just in your heart. The tabarra isn't just on your tongue. The tabarra has to be in action. And the definition of tabarra in action by Ahlul Bayt salam is that if you see those acts and characteristics in those whom you hate, do not have those acts within yourself. In fact, Amir al Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib, sallallahu alayhi wa says, it is sufficient for you to see what you dislike in others as a behavior, enough for it to be means as correcting your own behavior. Now, I've given the nasiha, and this is an Eid.